Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So tonight we're going to talk about outrage. There was a comment on YouTube. And basically what it said was, the average American is terrified of this very small percentage of radicalized Middle Easterners. And the problem is that I only talk about the good that people do. I don't talk about the messed up things. This person feels that it would be better if I did. Well, first, I do talk about the unpleasant happenings in the Middle East. I do it in a very clinical fashion. And there's a reason for that. What is terrorism? It's a PR campaign with violence. It's what it is. What's the goal? The goal is to provoke outrage. Why? Because when outrage occurs in the target, in this case the United States, the average citizen begins to justify and condone things they shouldn't. Drone strikes that have 90% civilian casualties. Torture, waterboarding, the abuse of detainees. These things, because they're scared. That outrage produces an overreaction. That overreaction creates more terrorists. That's how terrorism becomes insurgency. Why do I talk about these things in a clinical manner so as not to provoke outrage? Because I don't want them to win. During Iraq, you probably heard about uh, foreign fighters. Foreign fighters, the reason they were a hot topic was because they were exceptional fighters. They really were. Very small percentage of opposition forces were responsible for about half of American KIAs. Half of American dead came from these guys. But where did they come from? All over the world. Why? What was the number one reason cited? The abuse of detainees. Guantanamo Bay. Abu Ghraib. That's where they came from. That outrage worked. The overreaction brought in the foreign fighters that killed American service people. It's what happened. This isn't arguable, this is fact. Now, with that in mind, I would suggest that Fox News and outlets of their ilk have done more to help that small percentage of radicalized Middle Easterners than their own propaganda networks have because they pursue that outrage daily in, in hopes of getting ratings. And it works. It works because they use that visceral imagery. They play on bigotry, they play on fear, they play on ignorance. They make you scared. And they make you willing to condone things you shouldn't. It creates that overreaction. And in turn, creates more insurgents. And in turn, kills the people most Fox News viewership would say they care about. But they don't. They don't even care enough to learn a little bit about the subject. Provoking outrage is not good when you are talking about countering terrorism. That is literally their goal. I mean, in all honesty, the Islamic State, Al-Qaeda, these guys, they should have been cutting Fox News a check the entire time. Because they were their greatest recruitment tool. So, the reason I discuss these things in a very mellow manner, very clinical, is because I don't want them to win. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good night.